One go. Oh! <laughs> Do you like it? What? Hello and good morning! Just kidding, I'm tired. Coming at you before the sun's even up. It is dark outside still. Kids are getting ready for school and you guys, we have had an amazing week this week with kids getting up and getting themselves ready. Kirby came down 30 minutes before they normally do, before they're normally woken up. He got himself dressed and ready, breakfast and everything. Today's Friday so they don't take school lunches. They have lunch at the school, they only get to do that once a week. They choose to do that on Pizza Fridays. We're having an excellent start to the day. Kids are being fantastic. Kirby is going on a field trip today to where? The aquarium. Ooh. What are you most excited for? Hmm. I remember last time I was able to go there and these mini pet sharks were just <gasps> swimming around in the Ooh, I think they also have stingrays there too. Yeah. They have a, yeah, and they have a new exhibit them. there. It's the bee exhibit. And Rye Guy, he's having a little bit of a rough morning. He says his tummy hurts, but he says he yeah. thinks it's from all the junk he ate last night. Yeah. But I am super excited for today because I'm getting my room remodeled. Yes, you are. I'm so excited. I'm going to try. I'm not going to let Ryler see his room until it's finished. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise there, so we're excited. I think it's going to turn out really awesome. And Mr. Brex, <laughs> you're out of breath. You just ran upstairs to get your glasses. Yeah. You look super handsome today. Are you excited for today? Mm-hmm. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Yes. Okay. Jumping jack, jumping jack. You guys, like I'm telling you, today's starting out to be really great. Hey, get shoes on and a jacket, okay? Okay. Guys, while I seem to always have it all together, sometimes I don't. Today, I was like, oh dang, I don't have a green snack for her to take to school. I had to take the boys to school and then I went to Walmart really quickly. Got her class some green applesauces. Now she is ready wearing her green outfit for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, but I need to open this treat. She's holding on to a treat, but guys, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Well, it's like... It's 8.20, huh? Do you wanna turn around and show them your cute hair? Look, you guys, she's been obsessed with braids lately. So we did braids and then we threw some bows in there to make them a little bit more fancy. But I kind of feel like she looks like Pocahontas. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get shoes and socks on and get ready for school. And I was watching, I was just watching the show. Okay. Hazy's off to school. She's super excited for her St. Patrick's Day party. I'm gonna go get started on Ryler's room. Also, I did buy stuff for their bathrooms because their bathrooms are freshly painted. They have just kind of been using odds and end towels since we've moved in here for three years. I found some great towels at Target. I didn't spend a ton of money on them. They're kids' towels. I bought good enough quality that they're not gonna be crappy, but didn't spend a ton of money because they're kids' towels and they honestly don't care that much. I'm gonna get a start on Ryler's room. Walking into Ryler's room, I wanna show you what it looks like. I wanna show you a few things that we have for it. We need to do a lot of cleaning up. This is gonna be probably the biggest. Biggest transformation in a couple of different ways. The other boys was probably looked bigger, but Ryler has just been, he has a great room, a great closet, but I feel like it has just been boring for so long. So I'm so excited to do his room for him. Walk into his room. This is what it's been like for the last several years. There's nothing that has ever been put on the walls. This is my bedroom set that I got when I was like 13 or 14. We're going to bring in the nightstand that's in our bedroom. I've got a little bit of closet organization I'm going to do for him. So we need to take care of that closet as well. I wanted to show you guys all the new bedding that we did for Ryler, first of all. He got to choose his bedding and he chose the gray and white stripe. This is called Game on Gray. Again, this is from Betty's. I did it in the little boys room and they absolutely love it. What is so cool is there is minky material on the inside of this. It zips closed and they are the best quality. These would be great for adults too, but I really like to highlight how great they are for kids. Great quality, great material. They're super soft, easy for kids to feel accomplished like they made their own bed. What's great about Betty's is it's one entire piece. Comforter, the sheets, everything. It's all one piece. It's all sewn together. You just slip on one piece. You don't have to tuck in the top cover and then put on this. It's all one piece. They're absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell right now. Ryler literally just sleeps with a sheet and a minky blanket. He took off the top sheet and he took off his comforter. He's like, they just fall off and I don't like it. He sleeps with a minky and that's all. I'm super excited to get him this bed set that he'll hopefully be able to actually have covers every single night that won't fall off. Betty's has been super awesome, has helped us out getting these for all of our kids' rooms. So she's also awesome enough that she gave me a code for you guys to use. So if you want to go to Betty's, we'll link it down below in the description. But you guys can get 20% off, which is kind of huge because these don't go on sale. If you guys want to get 20% off your purchase, you can use code TIHWB20 for 20% off your purchase. You guys try them out. If you have one, I want to know what you think down below because we've absolutely loved them in the little boys room. So I took it all out. I want to show you guys, this is what's on the inside, this super soft minky. But what is cool is you can zip them completely apart. So I do have the top and the bottom separated. That's how I'm going to wash these because they are such a 
a good big product. I'm going to wash them separately, especially that will help with drying. There's a lot I feel like I can't do in this room because I need Brandon to help me hang stuff. So I'm gonna get doing what I can. I'm gonna build his closet organization and I'm gonna go clean off my nightstand and put it in his room. I'm gonna show you guys these Kallax. Kallax. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. These are from Ikea. I have these in almost every single room. I think the only room I don't have one in is Hazel's, which I'm sure you can imagine it's before too long that she'll have one. I use them in the bottom of the boys' room in their closet. Ryler's, I'm gonna use his for just closet organization in his closet. Uniforms, books, he loves knick-knacky stuff. I'm gonna build this, bring in the nightstand. All right, you guys, dad's getting involved. You never know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I got my power tools, I got my leveling kit, I got my stud finder. Beep, 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 beep. And we are gonna get Rye Guy's room fully remodeled here. I am so stoked about this room, and I was trying to figure out why I'm so amped. First of all, I love the theme. It is like the coolest theme. Second of all, mom has gone all out on this one. There are so many incredible show pieces that are just going to wow Rye Guy. I thought about it more, and I think what it is is that Rye Guy is the oldest in our home. You guys know Maddie's our oldest. Rye Guy's our oldest in the home. We got a double oldest situation going on there. A lot of times, all he really feels are kind of like some of the, the drawbacks to being the oldest. I was the oldest. A lot of times you're the most disciplined. You're expected to be the example. There's a lot more pressure on you, more of a microscope on you. You're kind of the guinea pig for parenting for your parents. So sometimes I feel like that's the only side of it that he can see or feel. But this feels like to me, and I think he'll feel the same way, this is an oldest privilege. This is going to be the room of all rooms in the house that's going to be the most insane, epic, savage room that we have. So I hope that he feels that and he recognizes that as the privilege of being the oldest and surviving this far in life with us as his parents. But this room is gonna really blow his mind. I'm trying to get it done before he gets home so that when he sees it, we can surprise him with some of the cool things mom's got up her sleeve, including a nightstand. So Raga's taking our nightstand. This was our dresser before. This is the bed we had when we first got married. It's kind of all moving in here. A mixture of new things, old things, blue things, used things. There, and then his bed's over there. That's gonna look funny, don't you think? You guys, the problem we've had since we've lived oh, in this house, every, room. every single room, why would you purposely put a window not centered? It's it is beyond frustrating. It's like this in our it. bedroom as well. Everyone has told me to hang a drape that makes it look centered. I think we are gonna have to do them here because I want that piece centered over his bed and that's gonna be like the main thing. There's so many main things. Every time I say that, I'm like, no, that's the main thing. No, that's the main thing. I do want to show you guys the progress I made in his closet. I added this. This is uniforms, tops and bottoms, his books. And here I've got all of his little knickknacky stuff, all of his cool little Legos that he's built and just loves. Hung his clothes up nicely, just kind of fixed things. This is from Ikea that I'm hanging his ties on. I think it was $3. And then again, those bins that you'll see right here. It's coming together really nice. I just went to Smith's Marketplace just now, found these on clearance. They think they were $15 dollars originally 40 so I feel like we're coming up with some really great pieces here what are you doing just I don't know if the stud finder even works <laughs> Will you grab, you guys, we built him this really awesome desk. Will you bring the desk in? Oh, heck yes. This is what me and Rye Guy made He's last wanted a night, desk, actually. but his room didn't quite have enough room for a desk. So we actually saw this desk at his Uncle Jared and Aunt Brittany's house. When we and went over there and they perfect. watched the kids, we were like, where did you get that desk? That's the only one that would fit in Rye Guy's room. It's literally like the perfect width of this little wall. It's going to be quite good. And Rye Guy built this chair himself last night. Literally so he already knows about this, but that's about all he knows. Yeah. Well, the desk is the only thing he knows about at all, really. Perfect, right? Yep. Just letting it kind of hang in the side here. Mom just did what I think is going it's to be- It's my favorite part of the entire room. It's unreal, you guys. I'm telling you, every time I think I'm like talking about the main showpiece, there's one sitting over here. Mom pulled this one up just out of nowhere. This one's amazing, but this one just over here. It like- The showstopper. Very special, very unique, and very custom. Okay. Um, I hate ironing. So I bought this little Conair steamer off of Amazon. It saves my life. I use it for the bedding. I use it for dresses. I use it for so many things. This bed skirt is brand new and it needs to be ironed out. But I'm not going to iron it. I'm going to steam it and it's faster. I don't have to dig out the ironing board and everything. I just take this to where I need it. It's super amazing. Did you want me to push your cord or? <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs>
has been hard at work with his tools. I think he's pretty yes, proud of himself. Is, uh, well, I'm proud of the fact that I was able to do it without, if you guys remember when we did the other boys' room, I put giant holes all over the place trying to drill through basically metal. We don't know what it was. Yeah, even Papa had a hard time. This has come together perfectly, you guys. So we got these really cool surf shelves, and I went and found some really cool seashells, and I love this picture of the three boys on that snorkeling tour we did, the famous Hawaii license plate. Found this cute thing at Hobby Lobby, and you guys, all the seashells, and this is from Hobby Lobby, that frames from Hobby Lobby. One thing to know about them, when you go to Hobby Lobby, never buy anything regular price. They never don't have anything on sale, if that makes sense. It Something's always make on sense. sale. Something's always on sale. It always goes on sale. If it's not this week, it'll be the next week. Yeah, I just hung that up. So I'm gonna get the bedding on. Some of you were growing frustrated at how long it was taking for the room reveal and remodel to happen. This is the culprit right here. These Those took forever to come shows. in. It just was so, we better love them. We almost didn't put them up. We found something else that we liked, and I'm like, no, everything has been hanging on these shelves. Ha. Huh? No so if you guys it. send so. the theme, surfing you also very Hawaii inspired. You'll see. I just got back from picking up the kids from school, so we did not complete the task before Rag I got home. So he is quarantined downstairs, not allowed to come upstairs while we hurry and do these last minute touches. Minnie just went to go get some pillows for the bed. We gotta go get four pillows. She needs two more lamps. The one that she got on clearance over here, she'll probably talk to you guys about it. It's actually missing the piece that you turn the lamp on with, so that's gonna be no good. So she's gonna go find two lamps, four pillows. In the meantime, I'm trying to decide if we've got too much stuff on the walls, and I'm not gonna show you everything, so you can't really decide now, but if we've got too much stuff on the walls to add this. Cause I think this is so, can you see that? I think that is so dang cool to ride the wave in this back corner of the room. But is there too much? If you have something on every single wall, is that too much stuff? I don't know. Mindy gave me the go ahead to try it. If it doesn't work out, then it's not a big deal. Just don't make a giant mess. I want it up because I think it's so cool. And I think mostly the reason I want it up is because I think Riley will think it's awesome. I'm gonna hang it up, see if it's too cluttery, and then decide if we're gonna keep it up or not. <laughs> Mom is just about done. Having a little bit of a hard time finding lamps to replace this one. We like that one so much. She's just gonna head back and get two more of them. She said they had a few of them there. The gray just goes so well with the bedding. I think we agreed that we should just get that one. So she's gonna go back and get a couple more of those lamps. She got the pillow. She's coming back. So we were moments away from the reveal. Rag guy is so excited downstairs. He is so pumped to come see it for the first time. Stand by for the most epic surf themed boys bedroom you've ever seen in three, two, All right, guys, we're bringing Rag Eye in right now. Room reveal. Here we go. Okay, Rag Eye, come on in, buddy. Keep your eyes closed. You want mom inside? Okay. All right, are you ready? Ready, set, one, go. Oh! <laughs> Do you like it? What? <laughs> the crap! Ride the oh wave, God. baby. <laughs> These shelves. Do you like the shelves? Oh my goodness. What do you think, bro? This is insane. <laughs> Are you my taking it all bed. in? <laughs> you see the double knife stand? Nice <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh Check my out your closet. Whoa. Yeah, now what? it's a little bit organized. You can have space for your stuff. What? Everything. Do you love this it, dude? <laughs> right, guys, did you do you want to know my favorite spot? What? Did, did you, you see, see this, that? bro? Yeah. This is literally all pictures that Michelle took You've in been Hawaii. All of these places. This is Haleiwa. This is Turtle Bay. This is Waimea Bay. Hanauma, I think. Hanauma. That's Hanauma. where uh, we went. Like, is this Hanauma? Yeah. I think this is Waimea. I think this is Waimea Bay. This is our helicopter tour. This is at the top of Diamond Head. This was the main highway we took. Past Everywhere. This mailbox yep. like a hundred times up in the helicopter. And I don't know where this one's at. That one was when we went looking for a spot while you stayed back in the car. You've been all these places. So, right, those are all pictures from little your little trip. Man. You got your little desk, your little setup right there, bro. Oh. You like it? So, what do you think, my man? Huh? I brought in your cup to hold all your like pencils and stuff. <gasps> yes! This is so cool. Okay, what do you <laughs> The shelves. Look at that. We've got the Hawaii surf plate up there. Oh. License plate, sorry. The surf, surfboard, seashells. Oh, that your... surf sign is sick. You and your brothers on the catamaran that we oh, took yeah, out on the circling fun. tour. And did you see the surfboard above your bed? Yes! One of my favorite parts 
has to be the. the I knew he would love that, yeah. dude. We were we debating if we should put it up if it was too much stuff, too much clutter, or if it was That's cool. That's one of my favorite. And I'm like, right, guys, I can just tell it's his style. He's now gonna love that. Now that I see my room, probably my favorite thing is that. Yeah, All that's our favorite thing by far. Yeah, that is honestly that's our like favorite my piece. very, very favorite. That's just like it's so meaningful. Like those are pieces of art that you have actually experienced. You yeah, have experienced that. So that's cool. Well, alright, guy, my main man. Let me get a full shot of you in your room. Dude, right guy. <laughs> Surf's up, bro. This is sick. Or over there, because there's not two. There's two outlets we're taking right there. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna show Kirby do. Okay, come right up to the door, come right up to the door, come right up to the door. Okay, ready, set, okay, go check it out. What? There's a lot of pictures right there. And then those, and, and then that. A lamp with a USB port. What do you think, Kirby do? Do you like it? Sick. Look, double nightstand. Do you like the surfboard above the bed? You guys, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself. I hung all this stuff and it's all straight and it's all on the wall with no extra holes. That's pretty big time for dad. Ride the wave, I knew you would love that, dude. Kirby do, what do you think, my man? I like the most. That's what, dude, everybody loves those the most. Those are the coolest thing. Michelle took those, mom had to print them on canvases and then she hung them like that. Isn't that cool? So cool. What are the surf shelves, guys? Come on, I did that. I know, <laughs> I love these. Yeah, those are awesome. There it is, you guys. The epic room reveal. Look at this, dude. Look at your room, bro. So, we love so far, 100%, everyone's voting. This is the favorite part. We want to know from you guys. Vote for your favorite part. What's your favorite piece? Because I kept saying, oh, this is the focus piece. Oh, this is the show piece. But I kept we saying that about. Thought the I thought the shelves would be... would be it for sure. Then I thought, no, no, it's going to be that custom surfboard above the bed. And then I really like the ride the wave thing because the new ride guy would like it. Probably not like the main piece. And then I saw these and I'm like, that's everything. That's just everything. They're so, amazing. what do you guys like? What is your favorite part of the room? What is your favorite part of the remodel? What do you think of it? The surf theme. It's been long awaited, long anticipated. Not only have you guys been waiting for a long time, but Ryan guys been waiting forever. I've been waiting for such <laughs> a long time. So glad. It's done. I'm so stoked. Guys, I think it turned out amazing and I can't take any credit except for hanging stuff. Mom does this no. entire thing from in her brain. She searches the stuff out on Pinterest. She goes with the theme. She finds all of the decorations, pulls them together. She gets it's way more than you see here, tries them out. If she doesn't like them, it's a lot of errands going back to stores, returning them, coming yeah. back and trying new stuff until it gets just right, just perfect. And I think it turned out I think out it turned money. out awesome. I'm so happy with it. And it's just kind of fun to make our kids feel special. Yeah. So. I, we were talking about that as we were setting it up. Like our room is a disaster right now, but it's just, I don't know. Like it's just more fun to do these things for, for the kids, kids because you see the excitement in their face And I was way more animated to hang shelves in here than if I had to hang something in our room for us Because I just don't really care that much for us, but for them we love it So now we've got both boys room go check out the other boys if you haven't seen that one It's an insane nautical yeah. theme with reading area like such an amazing makeover and now this one's complete Right guy bro. I'm so pumped for you dude. This is so cool <laughs> <laughs> So guys that's gonna do it for us But we did want to tell you that tomorrow so the day that you're watching is on Saturday night We're gonna be at Taco Amigo in Pleasant Grove They're doing a very special fundraiser that we're gonna go be a part of to come down grab some food say hi we're gonna be there it's not like a meet and greet or anything we're just gonna be going there to have dinner this is the second time they're doing this where 100 proceeds that they make that night in food and people that are working there the employees are donating 100 of their time all to go towards the huntsman cancer institute we're gonna be there we're gonna have some dinner so if you want to come donate maybe get a chance to say hey to us we'd love to see you guys it's taco amigo and pleasant grove and it's so. pretty cool because like she said even the people working are volunteering they're not getting it's paid kind of all of the money is going towards this every single 100 not like a percentage or part of it 100 100 saturday night the day that you guys are watching this, that's going down. Come see us. Come say hi. We love you so much. Thank you for being a part of our lives every single day and for your patience and waiting for this epic room reveal. The next big thing so you've been good. patiently waiting for, merch, and it's coming your way next week. Don't miss it. So excited. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. This is your hashtag real life reminder for the day as we close out today's vlog. Just because one room is pure perfection does not mean by any stretch that we have it all together. Because guys, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of cleaning and organizing yet to do. <laughs> Merch!